today's video is brought to you by Jason Kiyebiev. You know, Jason said it first. Like, you can't expect what it's gonna look like over here. Yep. It's just glorious, man. mountain on this thing and um, like it's just white out conditions I can barely see out in front of me it's through but you know we went out earlier on a run so I know the terrain just a bit easier but pretty fun day so far like the actual day of snowboarding was it was phenomenal like I've never seen snow like this ever and the taxi driver from last night was saying that it was magical snow, you know, and it really was magical snow. It's a different type of snow. It was just like, just really light fluffy material and just came down. And the thing you guys gotta know about me is that I'm, I'm from California and as much as you may not believe it, there is snow in California. It's such a big state. We have all environments over there. So for snow in NorCal, we have Lake Tahoe and there's a lot of cool resorts over there. Problem though is that it's become so crowded and the lift tickets are so expensive. It ranges from like maybe, if you're lucky, $100 to $190. It's for one day, one day. It's really expensive. Guys, this is our last day, at least at least mine with Jason and Cam. First day with Cam, really, and we're here at Hop in the Morning. That's that view. On the ground below, you can see the sun over here. I don't even know where the hell we are anymore. So, let's do it. It's day two of my snowboarding journey and Cam and Jason have just left for the day so it's just me over here on Akuba. Apple? Apple, yeah, whatever. And uh, it was, I was up there earlier and it was just complete wild conditions. It's pretty hard to see the train. I'm not going to go up there today because I'm alone. I'm just going to go try to figure out how to get to the gondola side. Okay, so it's day three, the last day that I'm gonna be over here in Hakuba, Hakuba, Japan. So I'm alone today, so I'm gonna be going from my side of the mountain, I'm gonna be going over to the other side of the mountain, I'm going to the gondola, kind of traversing the left and right of everything, and then uh, from there, just gonna call it a half day because our bus leaves at about four o'clock, but I still need some time to get back to the hotel, change, call the taxi, that sort of thing, so. It's gonna be a good little half day run today. wouldn't want a 
Hakuba to become this gigantic center for tourism. There are some cases where you have a lot of tourism, but what happens up happening is those those places they just kind of get destroyed by all of the tourism. And for for a place like this, that's still not as popular as it could be. I wouldn't ever want to see it get destroyed. I'm not the greatest snowboarder, nor am I an athletic person. But snow and the winter season are one of my favorite things about life. Hakuba started as a minor thought that Kane would free lift tickets for my season pass. But after my visit, I'm already longing for the day for my return. I hope I can come back here again and bring with me another group of great friends and possibly family. For now though, I can only hold Hakuba close to my heart and remember that magical snow.